Back to the Yamaha Revstar RSS 02T, 02T I suppose. As promised, I have some suggested wiring changes for you. On that note, if you like the stock sound and don't want to change a thing, that's fine, you're not wrong. But if you have a few little quibbles, or like me, some larger ones, I have some suggestions here. Some of them barely change anything, they just address one or two things. Others are quite sweeping. See what you think when you get a chance to hear them. Now note that the owner of this guitar wanted noiseless pickups, we got him a set of Kinmans. The Kinmans sound fantastic, and they have no 60 cycle hum, but the stock pickups sound quite good. If you like them, that's great. And all the mods I, I'm going to suggest work with both the Kinmans and the stock pickups. First, let's show a little bit of the installation of the Kinmans. The Kinmans come with a nice base plate if you order it, which really gives you a better secure mount to the body. Gives better height adjustability and less wiggle. Uh, no big deal. Comes with those little spacers. I ended up not needing them. Plenty of height without them. But I think I think the spacers are great. I think the pickups are great. They look kind of cool with the pickup covers off too. But, you know, covers do nice things for us. Anyway, here's the stock wiring. Now, this is just so you can compare and contrast my changes. And all of these diagrams are going to be in a PDF, which I'll put a link in the description for you so you can download it and you can view it at any size you need. But this is the stock wiring. And if you like it, that's great. Two things that I would suggest changing, even if you love the overall sound. First of all, I found the treble bleed to be real exaggerated and unnatural. There are better sounding treble bleed circuits and the treble bleed circuit there are the little cap and resistor in parallel with each other between lugs three and two on the volume there. But uh, I prefer 50s wiring. 50s wiring gives a much more natural sound as you turn down the volume. You'll hear that later and you'll see how easy it is to implement that in the next picture. I also found that the sound of the guitar was a little bit strident when in position three, the neck middle in the stock circuit. It was just a little too bright, a little too, mm, make you flinch. And that's because in a Gibson or other traditional guitar with two pickups, usually two humbuckers or two P90s, there are two volume pots, sometimes two tone pots. And when you have the middle position selected, you have both volume pots in parallel with each other, which gives you a 250K load instead of a 500K load. So I've also added an easy way to get that 250K load only when you're in the middle position, position three, both pickups together. And it's just a matter of adding one resistor and moving a ground wire. So here you see the easy changes. On the left, you can see the changes to the switch. We're going to ground those two unused common terminals. That'll let us do the 470K resistor there that you see, which only is in effect in position three. It also lets you run the pickup leads directly to the uh, common terminals on the switch and uh, have very short runs. So you have your shield and your center connected right there at the switch, better mechanical connection, fewer things going everywhere. Again, this is all available in a PDF link below, so you don't have to memorize what you see on the screen right now, because when you pause it on YouTube, it grays out and it's weird. On the right, you can see, and you have to compare it to the previous one, it'd be much easier to do on the PDF than here. But you can see how I've implemented the 50s wiring, which is just connecting the tone circuit to the wiper rather than the input of the volume pot. Uh, the Yamaha also has the tone circuit before the transformer. It's gonna work fine either way. You're not gonna have a problem with that, putting it after the transformer. I'm not a big fan of that transformer, but if you like it, that's fine. So that's positions one, three, and five, but I had some other changes in mind, and let me give you a sneak peek of what the wiring from my changes looks like. It's a little more complicated, looks kind of scary. There's a diagram later. Anyone who's done this a while can do this pretty easily. It's, it's very simple. I also put in some new pots and I'm kind of proud of the wiring there. I think it's really pretty. Uh, more than pretty, it's functional and sounds great. Those are some low torque 500K pots, very nice. So let's go through what the wiring actually is in my suggested changes. Position one, the neck pickup is exactly the same as stock, except as you can see, the tone circuit is connected to the wiper. And position five, the bridge pickup. Again, exactly as stock, the only change is the tone circuit is connected to the wiper. Position three though, the middle position, so it's stock with the added 470K in parallel across the 500K volume pot, which gives you that 250K load. And again, the tone circuit is connected to the wiper. Where it starts to get interesting though are positions two and four. For position two, I took inspiration from my Gibson here and other traditional guitars 
which have individual volumes for each pickup. And that lets you do some tricks that Bonamassa does and that Chris Buck does on his Revstar, where when you're in the middle position, you can adjust the blend of the pickups with the pots. That sounds like this. While my suggestion here doesn't let you adjust the blend, it does give you the benefits of a particularly good sounding preset adjustment. And so I've got a 47K coming off the neck in series and then a 270K coming off the bridge in series. So you're getting a little bit of reduction on the neck, a little more reduction on the bridge. Other than that, it's still stock. It doesn't have any phase weirdness, but it gives a little less output and kind of a scooped hollow sound, which is really great. Uh, it's not a Strat sound, it's not a Tele sound, it's just, I think, a very useful sound. You'll hear it, and that's how, how to implement it. Feel free to play around with 47K and 270K or other values. I arrived at these values after having pots up in the air, tempted into the back of the guitar, looked like a mad scientist lab, and this uh, combination, to my ears and to the players who've tried it here, works really well, and it works with the stock pickups and the Kinmans. For position four, I took inspiration from my Strat here, which has a blend where the first tone knob is, the middle knob, which means when I'm on the bridge pickup, I can blend in as much or as little of the neck as I want, and that changes the sound in very nice ways, as you will hear. To achieve this in the wiring, I have a 22K in series with the neck pickup and nothing in series with the bridge pickup. And there at the junction of the 22K and the bridge pickup output, both signals are going through that 10 nanofarad cap to the volume pot, which again, in position four, I added that 470K resistor for 250K total load. And that gives a low end roll off, a high pass, but it's not exaggerated. It just takes out some of the it just gives a little more clarity. It takes away what can be a little bit muddy in some amps and for some rhythm styles and some lead styles. Uh, I think it's a nice sound. You'll get to hear it. And here's how you do the wiring to make all my changes happen. So you can see the pots got simple. You can do this with the stock pots. You can leave the switch pot. You can even leave the transformer if you want. I don't suggest using it, but that's fine if you want to. This is the wiring at the switch, which is complicated. But if you study this and again, see the PDF, it's really not that difficult to achieve and gives great sounds. Uh, so great that I, I'll have to show them to you, I guess. I can talk about them, I can talk about them, but instead, let me let you hear them. So this is Logan Hanna playing the Revstar for us, and he's playing through the same restored 65 Fender Deluxe Reverb as last time, with ET65 and SM57 on it, pretty close, running into a Motu M2. And... Uh, we're gonna start by showing the before and after for each pickup position, and also the before and after on that treble bleed. So the stock treble bleed versus the 50s wiring. And the good news is after this, no more talking. Thank you. 